So this question says the expression 5x minus 2 over x plus 3 is equivalent to which of the following? So what I like to do whenever I have variables in the question and I notice that there's variables in the answer choices is I like to use this strategy called plug in your own number. So in this case, I'm going to say x equals 2. I'm just making up a number for x. Again, whenever you use this strategy, you want to stay away from negative 1, 0, and 1. And really, any other number is fair game, although I do suggest you use 2 or some other small number like 3 or negative 2, even negative 3. So let's see what happens when I plug in my own number into the expression that's provided. So I would have, instead of 5x, I'd have 5 times 2 minus 2. And instead of x plus 3, I'd have 2 plus 3. And what I'd end up with here is 10 minus 2 over 5, which is equal to 8 over 5. So then when I plug 2 in for x, the expression becomes 8 fifths. So that's my first step. The second step is to find the matching answer. That's the second step, right? So the second step is finding the matching answer. So choice A, when I simplify choice A, 5 minus 2 is 3. 3 divided by 3 equals 1. 1 does not match 8 fifths, so A is gone. Choice B, I can make this 5 over 1 minus 2 over 3, which in order to get a common denominator of 3 will make my first fraction 15 over 3 minus 2 over 3, which equals 13 over 3, which is also not 8 over 5. So B is out. Choice C, same thing. I'm going to write this as 5 over 1 minus 2 over, now I can replace X with 2. So 2 plus 3 is 5. And then 5 over 1, in order to have a common denominator, will become 25 over 5. So 25 over 5 minus 2 over 5 is 23 over 5. So also not matching the 8 over 5 that I want. Lastly, choice D, same thing. I'm going to make this 5 over 1, 17 over, again, 2 plus 3. So 5, 5 over 1 becomes 25 over 5 in order to have a common denominator. So 25 over 5 minus 17 over 5. 25 minus 17 is 8 over 5, and therefore choice D is the best answer.